What was it like working on this period film? I mean, it, it, the clothes aren't exactly as glamorous as Sense and Sensibility's period. No, I mean, that, that, that was fun. I mean, that, you know, I, I love looking absolutely awful on, on camera. And the last couple of days, I've been shooting on Titanic. And, uh, and I've, I've been having to look like I'm sort of, I've got hypothermia, so these blue lips, which is, you know, marvellous lots of blue food colouring all over the place and, and a bright red nose. Um, but but there's, I think there's, there's sort of nothing like that. I mean, I think if you have a, a problem as an actor um, with, uh, with looking awful on screen, then, you know, again, don't bother because, because it's, an, it's an important part of it. You know, you can't always look good on camera. God knows I don't. Tell us what it's <laughs> like to be working with Leonardo and James Cameron when you sign up for a water picture. <laughs> well, it's not, I mean, to me, it's not an action movie. It's not really a water picture. I mean, obviously, the, the, the last third of the movie when the ship is sinking, it is more of that. But still, you've got this amazing love story that's going on. And to me, it's about the love story. Um, and, and as a human being, uh, one of the things that's important to me is how you can share so much with a person and at the same time discover who you are as an individual. Um, and that's really what happens with, with Rose, my character in Titanic. She absolutely finds out who she is and um, is totally, her life totally changes, obviously, um, because of the whole disaster and everything. But through loving Jack and what they share, um, she becomes another person and is taken away from such deep despair. Um, in this and uh, working with Jim Cameron, I mean, you know, he's great. He's a wonderful, wonderful director. But he, he's, he's, um, it's, it's exhausting though. I mean, it is really, really exhausting stuff just because you have to be so highly charged the whole time and there is so much to do and everything. But I mean, you know, I'm a masochist. I love working till I'm exhausted. So, <laughs> so I'm kind of enjoying it and I love working with Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, he's, he's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. This is kind of like a stupid question, but it's the obvious one for a lot of our viewers is, how has your life changed since the Oscar nomination with Sense and Sensibility? <laughs> well, <laughs> that, was, um, that, was, that was amazing and, and uh, very exciting, and I was, of course, thrilled about it and had a wonderful time there. My mum and dad, we just, uh, it was great. So much fun. But um, it's, I, I don't really know how, how, how has it changed. Well, I mean, you know, press-wise, it kind of went completely mad for a while, and loads and loads of interviews and all that kind of thing going on but I had been cast in Titanic which is the thing I'm doing now I've been cast in that before the Oscar nomination came out so um, so in many ways in terms of kind of career offers or anything if, if that's sort of what you mean um, it hasn't really you know exploded or anything like that career wise uh, things haven't really changed all that much um, I don't know I mean life hasn't it hasn't changed I mean I'm still me I'm still you know I still got a great family and and I've, I've got a wonderful flat in London and all that kind of thing and you know you're one of the more you, the reason we ask is you're one of the more down-to-earth people even as we interviewed you, you all the way through the Oscar process you you're not caught up in the whole Hollywood thing no I mean because it's not about to me it's not about you know making heaps of money and being famous and in fact quite the opposite I, I really would work for nothing and I don't particularly want to be famous um, the, the sort of financial side of it to me is an absolute bonus and it means that I can take care of um, people that I love, I mean, I can help out my family a lot and things like that and help out friends who are often, you know, totally desperate and things. Um, but no, it's about, it's about work and I love it. I love acting so much and um, just consider myself so lucky that, you know, that, uh, that the work is um, consistent or certainly seems to be at the moment and still carry that mentality of, well, you know, it's great today but tomorrow I might not be in work. Um, so seize the day and, uh, and get on with it, that's what I say.